The media spotlight is on how a new government, whatever its colour, will cut funding for public services. We wanted to find out how much the British public knows about the services their taxes pay for and the hidden value of some of those services. We went onto the streets of London to ask, what do civil servants do? I think they're normally white collar workers, stuff like that, maybe um, office, I'm not 100% sure, but something on that kind of line. Um, well, uh, first thing when you come to mind is uh, Sir Humphrey Appleby from Yes Minister, the um, 80s television programme. Run the country. Well, they do various works on behalf of the government ministers and various departments, but the detail of what they do I just don't know. Um, well, I would imagine working for the government, admin, stuff like that. Yeah, they actually are on, I suppose, pop up the government, decide the policies, sort it all out for them, tell them what to do, and eventually you know, decide what to do about uh, Civil servants basically are like a person who serves their government for their um, society, basically, so civil servant. In fact, civil servants aren't just bureaucratic pen pushers. There are thousands of civil servants who do highly specialised jobs. British Antarctic survey scientists conduct environmental research that is vital to our understanding of climate change. Many civilian specialists in the Ministry of Defence are working on the front line in Afghanistan and Iraq. FSS scientists provide forensic services to police forces in England and Wales and do cutting edge research into DNA and firearms forensics. First impressions can be misleading. Scratch the surface and crucial jobs we take for granted are revealed. Do we really want to lose them? We all benefit from their work even if we don't know they exist.